Here's a Corgi Batmobile. It's pretty rough shape. I had a screw in there, I took it out. Was able to pry uh, pry the cockpit cover away. You can see how dirty it is. I'm gonna have to soak it and scrub it and see how it comes out. And there's Batman inside. And it's filthy in there too. I don't think there's a lot that can be done with this, except clean the cockpit area up. I wanted to get in and uh, straighten that string out, but there's a little rivet right there. thought it was a little Allen screw, but I think it's a rivet. I don't want to be prying the body apart anymore and end up snapping something. So we'll clean it up and see how it looks anyway. There's a dinky toy, Austin Devon. It's another article that was in the box. This base plate was caved right in. I got it uh, kind of pried up with a screwdriver. It's not the straightest of uh, roof lines, but I don't know, I might just clean it up and put some tires on it. This Vauxhall Victor uh, has some real crud on it. I'm going to try and clean that up. And guess what was in the bottom of the box? Base plate for that Vauxhall Victor with the tow hook. That's a good find, that one. I didn't know what I was going to do with this car, but now I know I can get it back together once I clean it up. There's a uh, Berkeley Cavalier trailer. Still got the decal. I've washed this already. And typical no tow hook, but I'm going to make one. And this was another one that was in there. It's covered with mud. You still see some dirt in the back there. I got to clean out. Just need a set of tracks, and it's good to go. Decal's still in good shape. The metal wheel version. That's number uh, 49. Army half track. And then there was a bulldozer, which is in really good condition. Just got to figure out a way to get tracks on. Love Matchbox's early uh, bulldozers. And here's another car without a base plate, but uh, I don't know if you really need it. This was kind of muddy too. Just need the driver and uh, in really good condition. Actually, it doesn't even need a driver. Here's the ERF tanker. Would have been an Esso tanker. Gray, uh, gray plastic wheels. Actually, it just needs to sign at the rear, and I think it'll be good. And then there was a number five Route Master. Static BP might need uh, a little restoration. This one, it's got the gray wheels. Never had one with gray wheels, not the viscostatic.
and the Scammel snow plow. Number 16. Everything still works. Still got the plow. A lot of times you find these without the plow. And there was one of these and it just had the woman sitting in it. She's getting washed right now. She needs quite a bit of work, but I, most of the parts are available for these, so I don't know, I might fix it up. Kitty, kitty, bang, bang. Looking a little better than it was. Batman suits. Uh, Looking pretty blue instead of gray, or brown, dirty. And after a soaking and a scrub with a soft brush with sunlight soap, the canopy uh, came out pretty nice. It's not even ready. Don't see a lot of scratches even. It's filthy inside. There's the uh, Austin Devon inky toy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put tires on it. I'm not not even going to restore it. Not right now, anyway. Kind of like that color. There's the body for the Vauxhall Victor. Actually cleaned up really nice. I'll get it put together and uh, show you later what it looks like. Well, there's uh, the canopy back on the Batcopter. Batman inside. If I could find uh, corgi decals to go on this thing, I might be tempted to repaint it. Take the canopy back off and mask it off. But till then, I just uh, I'll leave the originals on. Pretty neat looking toy. Basically, all I could do with this was wash it. So. Might redeckle it one day. At least the one side. Or repaint it. There's a little ERF tanker. This one's number eight. I'm gonna have to invent a way to get tracks onto these without uh, splitting them. Either that or a little set of snap together uh, tracks somehow. Need a set of tracks for that. Other than that, it's in 
pretty good shape. And there's the Vauxhall Victor with the base plate on. Just put a dab of uh, five minute epoxy on the rivet at the back. It's enough to hold it because it's got a slot fitting in the front. There's the Scammel snow plow. And there was this little dump truck without the dump. And the Bedford S cab the car transporter. I really don't know what I'm going to do with some of this stuff. And then there's the uh, Berkeley Cavalier new hitch I made that hitch out of a part of a plastic rocket from a model kit looks right on looks good with the Vauxhall Cresta and the Victor too. Now the original reason I went to uh, the place where the guy gave me that box was uh, to get this horse, this tumble cart. It's the Britain's toy. And we got talking about uh, toys, matchbox, dinky and all that. And He says I got a, a box of stuff in the basement. He said if you want it, you can have it because I'm not going to do anything with it. I was going to fix some of them up, but not anymore. So that's where I got all this stuff from. But I uh, was happy to get this horse, that's for sure. These old Britain's toys are pretty nice. And I already had the Carter. which is a hollow cast lead figure. Now I got the horse and the only things I need are the uh, hay rakes that go on the front and the rear. And this will be complete. It's even got a removable tailgate. And if you move this uh, to the side, you can dump the load out of there, whatever you're carrying. So it was pretty neat. I was glad to get the horse. I didn't expect to walk away with a box full of die cast, but. Uh, Pretty good. We'll see about all the other stuff, what I'm going to do.
anyways thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time